and i see a lot of people they actually they don't realize that having a six by six vision is just not enough vision is not just about seeing you know they always say black letters and a white background vision is much beyond so you cannot be able to do your daily task your work comfortably and if it gives you a headache or eye strain then you must be you are having a lot of other issues so when we people you know feeling to you know uh, have an awareness about 3d vision about that you know how the two eyes should work in together in that alignment to achieve a comfortable focus for a sustained period of time to do your you know work and all these things are most of the times you know ignored by teachers and you so do you think that you know this is really a problem in today's world where you know a lot of digital and a lot of people are moving they're more and more i mean i'm on the screen seeing it and the work is getting indoors do you think it is a problem or it is going to be an epidemic in future or things they heard where you know people are having a lot of issues in their vision is they're not able to explain to an optometrist or short client and technology that you do not expect them to understand the issues so how do you look at that because it connects basically talks about the general people who are not having or probably having sick by intuition and vocal yeah i mean most of your question is self covered the answer <laughs> right because the vision world as such the optometry of the technology world for centuries has advocated that having 2020 or such by 6 is all that you need and then you know even if you have some problem you go and then oh can you read the last line on the chart you're done everything is normal for it but then why are you not able to use your eyes efficiently why don't you be so good at the end of the day um, and this is where the coordination between the two eyes as you said you know children that has 66 vision but they are struggling to read they have poor academic performance they have uh poor eye hand coordination when they want to do like you know sports activities and uh, there are children who are like children with special issues okay uh, children with uh, delayed developments or children with special needs despite having pretty normal vision these these children struggle quite a bit with uh using their eyes and eye hand coordination and using their both eyes together and this is where we should understand that this 2020 or 6 by 6 is just one component of vision vision is more than that vision vision is making sense of what you see you can see but if you still don't understand what you see yeah. then there is nothing in like in seeing right you go park your car in a parking lot even you have 100 cars that look similar you still would be able to identify your car if your visual perception is good but let's say that a, a patient who has had a brain injury okay due to some reason and then you see the way that they are struggling in crowded places to recall even familiar uh, faces for that matter mm-hmm. to recall familiar names okay so there are so many other parts of the brain uh, which are beyond the part that is responsible to see True. which which would be affected in these uh, in these problems and that is when we as optometrists as vision scientists basically then come into the picture to a, a, to understand vision beyond the 66 so we then have to do i coordination of both eyes which we call binocular vision visual perception where to see and this in other meaning making areas in the brain uh, and then we provide relevant therapies